Hey meat trapper, how do you cook beaver tail? I've heard the mountain men considered that a delicacy. How come you're never, uh, how come you're never eating beaver tail? How come you uh, don't do a video on how to cook it? Well, there's a reason that you don't see me cooking and eating beaver tail. Uh, beaver tail is basically a fat store. When you skin a beaver, you're not going to see a lot of subcutaneous fat. Uh, you can skin a raccoon and they have gobs and gobs of fat under the skin. You skin a deer, you know, people will say, oh, that, that was a big fat doe, she was healthy, must be a cold winter coming on, whatever. Uh, you don't see that with the beaver. The beavers store the majority of their fat in the tail. Um, the mountain men, I'm sure, did consider it a delicacy because if you were up in the mountains and you'd been out there for six months or a year uh, living off what you could scrounge, um, fat good fat was hard to come by. Uh, you, you know, you have good fat on a bear, uh, but you also have good fat on a beaver and that's what the mountain men were out trapping. So the way I've cooked beaver tail in the past just to sample it is basically wrap it in aluminum foil and throw it on the grill. And that's basically mimicking uh, uh, covering it in clay and throwing it in the ashes or what have you. Uh, the idea is to encase it and, um, and then cook it. So anyway, uh, I cooked a, a tail the other night just to sort of show you what it looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the leather itself is going to turn brittle and uh, dry out. Of course, you don't want to eat the leather. Um, you can skin the beaver tail, but it's a lot of work. It's Nothing's going to pull off of it. But once you cut through the outer layer of the leather that's uh, charred, you're going to notice uh, basically an inner membrane. And that inner membrane uh, is tough. It's uh, not edible, at least in my book. Um, then finally you get to the inner layer, which is the fat. And if, as you can see, that fat is perfectly pure and it's basically tasteless. When you take a bite out of that fat, there is basically no flavor to it whatsoever. It doesn't have a good flavor or a bad flavor. It doesn't have a bad smell. Um, it's just fat. And so if you were in a survival situation and you needed calories and you needed fat, uh, the beaver tail is an outstanding resource. And I guess that's where the mountain man uh, tradition of it being a delicacy uh, comes into play. Um, here in modern day America, fat is not scarce. In fact, we have way, way too much of it. Uh, in most cases. Um, one project that if you're interested in this would probably be to render that beaver tail fat down like people render bear fat. I've never fooled with it. I've never had a reason to fool with it. Um, but anyway, there you have it. I hope this uh, little short QA video answers the question of how do you cook a beaver tail? What does it taste like? And uh, why did the mountain men consider it a delicacy? It's basically pure fat. Hope that helps. We'll see you next time.